This course was designed for anesthesiologists and CRNAs. After completing this course, you will be able to log on to Anesthesia Workstation, remove medications and kits, return medications, and waste medications. The benefits to using Anesthesia Workstation include increased security and accountability of controlled substances, improved efficiency for pharmacy and anesthesia providers, and increased patient safety. For example, the syringe label printer reduces risk of unlabeled medications. Anesthesia Workstation also supports regulatory compliance. Let's look at the Anesthesia Workstation now. The Anesthesia Work Drawer is for providers that stand during procedures. The top drawer of the cabinet is typically configured as the Anesthesia Work Drawer. Alternatively, it may have pharmacy items assigned to it. The first and fourth drawer may be configured as a work drawer to secure medications that have been drawn up prior to the start of the case, or it may have pharmacy items assigned. Access to items stocked in the cabinet is controlled by ColorTouch software. Most tasks can be completed by interacting with the screen. Locking lid pharmacy drawers are generally used for control level medications. When removing a narcotic or controlled medication, the guiding lights lead you to the correct lock compartment within the drawer. The optional syringe label printer promotes proper labeling of syringes as specified by ASTM, ISO, and the ASA. Depending on your healthcare facility's policy, you will either be directed to return an item back to the original location in the cabinet or to the external return bin. With controlled items in pharmacy drawers, any remaining anesthesia drawers are configured for non-controlled items. The anesthesia workstation can be configured to print receipts automatically for select transactions. The available receipts are clear return bin, cycle count, discrepancy, dispense, inventory, issue, print temp user, return, unassigned items, and waste. Log on to the anesthesia workstation by using your fingerprint or by entering your username and password. Press exit to log off the cabinet when you are done. This ensures that no transactions can be completed by another user with your ID. Individual items can be issued by scanning the item barcode or by pressing Remove Meds on the screen. Scanning the item barcode applies to items stocked in unlocked anesthesia drawers only. Pressing Remove Meds is the only way to add items stocked in locked pharmacy drawers. The guiding light will guide you to the locked medication compartment. To begin removing medications for a case, select the patient from the local list. If the patient is not on this list, press the Global List tab and search for the patient there. From the patient screen, remove the item from an anesthesia drawer and scan the item barcode. Once scanned, the item is added to the top of the list with a quantity of 1. Remain on the blue Issued Item list to scan items. To remove additional quantity of the same item, press the plus sign next to that item. To remove a different item, open the drawer, remove the item, and scan the item barcode. Alternatively, select a medication from the Stock Meds tab and press Remove Now. We will select a controlled med from the list. Modify the quantity or dose to remove. If necessary, follow prompts and guiding lights. If prompted, confirm or edit correct count for the item. Press OK. The default quantity is auto-populated to 1. After all desired items have been selected, press Remove Meds. If you selected an item stocked in an anesthesia drawer, the button may be labeled Record Meds. 
If an item requires a label, one will print. Attach the label to the syringe. Place items into your designated anesthesia work drawer until you need them. All items are added to the issued item list for that patient. Using kits to organize the removal of medications for cases simplifies the setup for a case. Requests for kits may be submitted to the pharmacy. Pharmacy then creates kits and includes them in the cabinet's kits list. To remove a kit, from the patient screen, select your patient. Now press Remove Kits. Select the desired kit. If you want to add another kit, press Add Kits. Press Remove Now. Follow prompts and guiding lights to access items. If prompted, confirm or edit correct count for the item. Close the bin and drawer. For non-narcotic items, simply remove from open anesthesia drawers. Adjust quantities as needed using the plus or minus buttons. Close the drawers when done. Place the items into your designated anesthesia work drawer until you need them. If you do not have an anesthesia work drawer, follow your healthcare facility's policies for storing the removed items. You may return items not used in the case two ways. For narcotic medications, start from the patient screen and touch the Return Meds button. The meds eligible for return list displays. You will see a list of all meds you have removed for that patient. Touch the item in the list to view or modify the quantity to return. The return quantity is auto-populated with a quantity of 1. Make any changes and press OK. Select the medication or medications from the list and touch Return Now. Enter a reason for the return. Press OK. Have your witness enter their user ID and password if prompted. The external return bin unlocks and you will place the medication in it. Close the return bin to complete the return of the item. The screen now displays the return quantity left of the medication. Depending on how your facility is set up, you may be led to the original bin location instead of the external return bin. For non-narcotic returns, you may press the minus button from the issued item list and place the item back into the drawer. Post-case reconciliation, or PCR, is the process of recording administration and wasted amounts for controlled items used in a case before committing it as complete. To facilitate efficient workflow, this process is performed on a single screen. To use PCR, you must be an eligible PCR user as determined by your facility. Furthermore, only items that are eligible for PCR will be allowed to be reconciled in this way. Always return items before you perform a waste. From Patient Care, select the patient. Press Waste Case Meds. From the Post Case Reconciliation screen, enter the total amount administered or wasted. Press the up-down arrows or the tab key on the keyboard to advance quickly through the list. The remaining amount is calculated automatically based on the amount entered. The net quantity removed is shown on the left of the screen. The amounts displayed on this screen represent the total amount issued system-wide, taking into account any returned amounts. If you administered the total amount for all items used during the case, press Zero Waste to document. If you are not ready to complete the case now, press Store Data. You can return later to complete the case. Data for the case is stored system-wide. Any issue or return transaction performed on the case after it has been stored 
will update the administration and wasted amounts. If you are ready to complete the case now, press Case Complete. Use the standard wasting procedure to waste an item when post-case reconciliation, PCR, is unavailable or disabled. Although it is recommended to record waste using PCR, in some cases it may not be possible. This could occur if the cabinet that you are using is not enabled for PCR, if you are not eligible to use PCR, or if the item you need to waste is not eligible for PCR. To perform a standard waste, select a patient from the list. Now, from the patient screen, press Waste Meds. Select the medication to waste and press Record Waste Now. Enter the waste amount. Enter or select a waste reason. Now press OK. Have your witness enter user ID and password if requested. Follow your facility's policy for properly disposing of waste.